just met a new, made a new friend. Uh, his name is Raymond. He's out there in Oklahoma. And we had a nice chat about some chimes and some other things. And then I told him about the Model A we had because he really knows a lot about Hammond Oregon. He's been playing his whole life. Oh, really? You know, he's around my age, a little older, you know. And uh, we had a wonderful conversation. So we made a new friend. He likes the way you play and he watches some of our videos. But when I told him about this Model A that's close to mint condition, it has the solid state preamp in there for reliability. Does it have reverb in it too? Reverb. Yeah. It has reverb in it also. And currently it's hooked to this uh, tall boy smokestack Leslie. And uh, Rayvon and whoever else might uh, check out this video, uh, Chester, hello to Chester. Uh, we know you by reputation only and we're fans. And uh, if you get to see this, thanks so much for, for watching our little video. But uh, I promised Rayvon that we'd make a little video special for him okay. on this organ and uh, his friend that he grew up with, Chester. Okay. And uh, so what I'd like you to do is uh, do some serious playing. I'll get out of the picture and don't, don't hold back on the power, you know, give it some punch. Play several tunes. What, what key are you going to start out in for those who... Probably G natural. G, starting out in G, and then uh, I always like a nice modulation when you get about halfway through. So you give it a little, I call it a turbo boost when you modulate. Okay. It keeps it exciting, you know? Okay. But uh, if anyone other than Rayvon and Chester get to see this video, this is a Model A made in 1935 or 1936. We have to double check the exact year, but it was the very first organ. And it's a testimony to the quality of the Hammond Tone Wheel organs that this one is still working so great. We sold this six years ago to a church. They traded it back in on a B3. They never had a lick, any, a lick of trouble with it. And uh, we put one tube in the Leslie. I think that was the only thing that we ever had to do. Oh, the only thing we ever had to do. It's very super reliable. Now, this organ could also hook up directly to a 122 if whoever buys it doesn't want the tall boy Leslie. There's two outlets. Oh, there's two outlets. Good point. Yeah, so you can put two 122s on it immediately, or you could buy the tall boy and have a 122, or it's a lot of options here. So, without further ado, a private concert by Mr. Randolph Carter playing on a Hammond Model A, serial number 615, keyboard exchange reference 443. It's on our budget friendly list, and it could be in a museum, let's face it. Take it away, Randolph. Thank you. 
I'm Jim Huss, speaking with you from the showroom at Keyboard Exchange International. We'd like to thank all of you who have helped us grow our business for the past 51 years, and it is our intent to find good homes for all the instruments we have gathered uh, from all over the United States. Thank you to the families that have preserved the instruments and then sold them to us knowing that we would find good homes for them. If you, on the other hand, are in need of an instrument, please give us a call. Uh, there's been a lot of effort to gather these instruments together and we would like to make you part of the Keyboard Exchange International family. Let's all work together to keep these fine instruments going long into the future so that we now and future generations can continue to enjoy the wonderful sound of the Hammond Tone Wheel Organ. God bless. Signing off.